Midnight Charlie Man, Patrick here. I uh, was upstairs, I'm in the kitchen, I'm thinking about this. I had, uh, we're about to go to Bondi today, it's a nice day. It's, uh, it's about, must be about 25 degrees here in Dollar Chill. I need to know, I need to know how many people out there have, have doors slamming, you know, have, have neighbours who slam, fellow tenants who slam their doors, I need to know. Uh, had a huge problem for a very, had a huge problem for a very long time with this. Now, the fellow tenants here, the, the, the uh, majority of them, fellow tenants, there's uh, this section up here, and there's this section here. Uh, and uh, for months now, but the foyer door has a gas strut, has a gas strut, but the gas strut did not work for a very long time. And, and, and what it was, instead of the fellow tenants, uh, when we first got here it wasn't so bad because there was one, three, three units vacant here. And then over the next few months they became occupied. Now, the gas strike on the foyer door did not work. Okay. Within 24 hours, within 24 hours moving in, I figured out how to close the doors quietly. So the foyer door, the gas strike didn't work. I closed, just out of out of common courtesy, out of general common courtesy and consideration for the other neighbours every time I open the foyer door. So what I would do is, when I was coming out, I coming out, I fling it, but then on the way back I catch the knob. I catch the knob and I just close it with a gentle kick. It takes me about four seconds to do that. I mastered that within a few days. Now the other tenants, the other neighbours, they come out, they fling it and they walk and then now it comes into our unit at volume 10 and also the my neighbour adjacent to me. Fantastic neighbour. Fantastic neighbour. We actually used to wreck the bug. Fans have a pretty solid cement, cement, wall, cement. Now, it was getting to him as well. Very quickly, very quickly it became to give me a lot of stress. The, 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 and and when, when all the new tenants, do you have this problem that the fellow tenants, the neighbours that you live with in your unit block or apartment complex, have no common courtesy? It doesn't occur to them. It doesn't occur to them to close doors in a gentle manner, gentle, respectful manner. Do you have this issue? Do you, I'm curious to know how many people out there have this problem. Fellow tenants are just to call them the door slammers. It. They're, they're, they're totally unaware of what they're doing, wouldn't have a clue, completely unaware, oblivious, and they just fling the door, and, and they fling the door, and they slam as hard as it, and, and because when the door slams, when it used to slam, it came through into our living room at volume 10, and I tell you what, my nerves are getting very badly rattled, and I'm thinking to myself, thinking to myself, can they not tell that that is a, that is a hard slam? Like, when they're when they're in their unit, can they not hear that? Can they not feel that? Uh, as my partner said, he said, they don't care. Now, the the person that my my neighbour, my direct neighbour, he was the main cause of this problem since since the day he moved in, and and and, and he slammed that door hard, and what happened was. What happened was I anger, how I was going to approach him. I, 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 in my mind, I'd approached him numerous times. I had it out with him. Approached him. Approached him full on about it in my mind. There's a conversation in my head. And finally, about four or five weeks ago, roughly about five weeks ago now, it all got the better of me because I'd been. I'd been tense, frustrated and stressed about this other thing. That, that door might have slammed ten times a day. Hard, really hard. Bang, bang, bit of a bit vibrating and, and did a few things to fix it. I, I, I put in, initially I put weather I got weather stripping from eBay and put it on the door. That muffled everything by about fifty percent. That was good. In my mind, I was bewildered because I couldn't. I, I, we, we'd been we were here for a while. Uh, we'd been here for a, we'd been here for about two months when I put the weather stripping. And I was like, 
some of these tenants have been here for ten, 10 years, 15 years, right? Some of these tenants have been here for 10 years, 15 years. Are you telling me that in all that time, this store snapping has not bothered them? That really puzzled me. I got the weather stripping up, put it on the door, muffled everything. And also, the right hand side of the door was not secured. And um, now it has been, but I put a, I, I was putting cardboard underneath. Uh, about five weeks ago, it all got the better of me. It all got the better of me. I came, I came out. Uh, my direct neighbour, he also kind of slams his front door, but that doesn't. Oh, he's doing. I, I confronted him, so he left. And about a minute later, I walked, I came out of my unit, I walked around the side there. So I was walking around the side, he came back around the other way, so we came face to face. And I had it out with him. Now, it could have been a bit like, it could have been a lot more, I was just, or he could see my anger. I, uh, I felt I didn't do it as good as I could have, but I was uh, assertive enough. Like, afterwards, as I said to him, said to him, excuse me. I said, that door, that foyer door there, stop slamming the bloody foyer door, stop, stop slamming that door. You're slamming it all the time, it's a very delicate door, don't do it. And, and, and he, 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 he was like, he was like, and, and I didn't know how he was actually going to react to the situation, I had no idea how he was going to react. He got a step back, and he looked bewildered, confused, and, 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 and he said, oh, it does have a bit of a rattle to it, doesn't it? I said, I said, you think? And then I, I went at him, or I went at him, not, 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 not physically, I just verbally went at him. And he looked a bit irritated as I was approaching him in such a way, a bit, bit, a little bit annoyed. He's, uh, well, my neighbour is posh, uh, almost posh and entitled, posh and entitled. But I've realised now that I'd rather have a posh and entitled neighbour uh, rather than a bogan, yes, so... I approached him on that. Told, I got a few things off my mind, and then I said, "Come back, let's come back to the door. And let's go." So, came back to the foyer door, and I gave him a kindergarten lesson in you know, how to open and close the foyer door in in the right way. He was not overly. He watched this all for about five to seven seconds, and he turned, put his back to me, and walked up the stairs. He was not overly impressed by this lesson because I was so angry. I was really angry. And so uh, he walked up the stairs, put his back to me, put his back to me, walked up the stairs, and into his unit. However, after that, his door foyer door slamming had reduced greatly, and him and his partner, because she's as bad as he is, and uh, they were the main culprits. They had reduced a bit, they reduced it a little bit. The main solution, this significant solution. The whole problem was fixed about three weeks ago now. Our something was happening. We had a problem with our sliding door on the balcony. And so we got the, the, there's a... If anything happens around here, call the real estate up. I get along very well with it. We get along very well with real estate. Call the real estate up and they send it. You've got a few handyman people. Handy, it's, a, it's a complimentary service. There's a few handymen around here who, who come around here who are specific to this place. Who, uh, they do walk all over Sydney, but they do a lot of work here. We've got the sliding door fixed, but in fixing you know, on the balcony, but uh, the wire I think it was, that was the wire screen. But in fixing the wire screen, the handyman wasn't his fault, broke the sliding door. The wheels under it, they were ready to go anyway. So what happened? And I said to him, Do you know anything about gas struts? Do you know anything about gas struts? He said, Yeah. I said, Our gas strut, it's broken. It, it needs adjusting or something. He said, I'll have a look at it. He said, and, and have a look at it. He said, look, this is strata. Strata gives me great because strata can take months. That's to go for approval and everything. He said, this is actually strata. And he, and he, he, cause he got distracted by phone call. He left. Two days later, he came back and fixed the sliding door. Works, works beautifully now. Works beautifully. He's put, put a new wheel on it. Works beautifully. Then it came out. So he came out. He came out. Came out to the front of the unit, and he uh, he came out to the front of the unit, and he said, "Let me have a look at this thing. Let me have a look at this castro thing." So myself, and my partner, we followed him out there. I just actually stayed on the inside of the door because uh, I had to be there because it was just easy for me to just open it. Otherwise, you got to unlock it. 
he made three adjustments with his screwdriver to the gas strut. Now my partner, she saw what he did, but I, I didn't. But he, they had showed me what they did. Three adjustments to the gas strut. Three. And because on the second one, I said, oh, more, more, needs more. He, he adjusted it again. It was three turns. Now on the, th on the third adjustment, I, 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 I pushed the door like the other tennis door, I pushed it, it came back, came back, went, click. I felt bliss. I felt instant relief. I was like a kid in the candy store. I, I opened and closed it about three or four times. Oh, fling, went, fling. And Michelle said, oh, that feels like a kid in the candy store right now at the moment. And the, and the handyman guy had a bit of a chuckle. I said, this has been a problem for like 10 months, 10 months. Ten, ten, Stella! 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 This has been a problem for 10 months. This has been a problem for 10 months, right? And three quick, three, it took two minutes, three quick adjustments to the gas strut and my stress was alleviated. And that, now, the other tenants, no, they're absolutely clueless that the gas strut has been fixed. And also, the, the right hand side of the door has been uh, bolted, screwed in properly at the top. I put a piece of cardboard over it at the bottom. The other tenants, no, they are absolutely bloody clueless that the door, that the gas strut has been fixed. Wouldn't have a clue, don't know, don't care. I said, I said to Michelle, do you think the other tenants have, uh, do, you think she's, do, you think, do you think I'm noticing? She said, oh, they don't care. They don't care. If I was to tell one of the other, and haven't told the other tenants, my, 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 my adjacent neighbour, my direct neighbour, yes, I showed him 10 minutes after it was done. I showed him, he was like, oh, because it, it was driving him crazy. It was absolutely driving him crazy. And he was like, oh, that's nice. If I was to tell one of the other tenants and say, excuse me, I've got the gas strut fixed, I got it, the gas strut was adjusted, they'd be like, what? The door slamming? What a door slamming? Every time you fling the door, it closes hard and vibrates? Oh, it does. The gas strut's being fixed. Oh. They do that. They'd be like, oh. They'd be like, oh. Was there a problem? Yes, there was. And you were the fucking problem. But, but, couldn't even, didn't even consider telling the other neighbours. Didn't, didn't even considered telling them that the gas tap had been fixed, they wouldn't know, they wouldn't notice, yeah. they don't care. But now when they fling that door open, the foyer door open, comes back, click, oh. Ever since the handyman adjusted the gas trap, my stress level has, uh, I got 95% less stress. And they still stay in their own doors, but it doesn't bother me as much now. And my direct neighbour, who I was having a lot of problems with, I weighed up the pros and cons about living. So I say I lost the last 30 seconds of that memory, not the battery, the memory ran out, so I lost the, at least the last 30 seconds. So was I going to, um, I had numerous conversations in my, in my head uh, with the real estate agent uh, about uh, what I was going to say. And then uh, one, when the handyman fixed the gas truck, I didn't mention it to the real estate agent because I thought in my mind I thought oh, oh. I initially was uh, if I was going to do it myself or somehow do it myself I wasn't going to tell him so I didn't tell him anyway but in reflection after that had been fixed I thought wow that would have been a bad idea getting on the phone having my whinge to the real estate agent on the phone. Uh, that would have been a bad idea. I was just going to whinge about certain things. I was going to whinge about the neighbour. Uh, I've spoken... Uh, uh, said that fa actually, in fact, I think the best way to do these things is to write out a note. If you can be as diplomatic as you can. I'm not always good at diplomacy. Writing out a note, putting it in another box. Probably the best way. Uh, face to face? Yeah. I ended up doing that. I think the note is more effective. Once I went face to face, I didn't have a problem anymore. I had no more problems. Although a note is very, a note, I think notes are more effective. Passive aggressive, yes, but. And so, 
Even my real estate agent knows nothing about all this. And then the handyman adjusted the gas strut, three adjustments to it. It works fantastic. Works fantastic. Now I've got peace. Do you have prob do you have uh, do you have problems with your fellow tenants? Is there door slamming in your apartment complex? Are the TVs up too loud? Do your neighbours bother you? Do you have any problems with people who slam their doors all the time? And what have you done about it? What has been your solution? Do you have a nice gas strut on your door? Do you have a nice gas strut on your, on your door? Uh, do you close your doors gently with a gentle... Do you close your doors with a gentle click? Do you do that? Do you have fellow tenants who do not do that? Do you get frustrated by them? I'm very curious to you know. Uh, very curious to you know. Because my problem was solved with the gas strut being adjusted. My problem was solved. I was just turned the line off and I just realised I forgot to say something because I was just going to mention I actually put up a note about seven weeks ago. I put up a note. I put up a note inside the foyer door. An A3, an A4 note inside the foyer door. It was a pretty angry note. And uh, I put it up. What happened was, but we had to go out, so I couldn't stick around to see what the results would be because I actually went to visit my sister. And we, we went to visit my sister, we came back s seven hours later, the note had gone. Uh, turns out, few of the tenants didn't like that note, so I, I would estimate that that note had lasted about two hours up on the floor door before it got torn down. So that wasn't a very good way to go. Um, and I realised that uh, putting a note in the letterbox and being need to be diplomatic in these things because it can go either way. I think the more diplomatic you are, the better of the result. Getting it too aggressive in a note won't work. <laughs> in my mind, you're very aggressive about it all. Very, but I'm like, yeah, but you get a re bad reaction from that way. But anyway, I put up a note on the inside of the door. That didn't work. They got taken out. They did not like that. And then, you know, it was about the door slamming. They did it even harder after that. They did it even harder. Oh my gosh, it was bad after that. The door slamming increased. Anyway, I'm going to go and show you the floor door now. Right. Do you have issues with this? I'm very keen to know. I'd like to find out. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Wow. I'm feeling wounded at the moment. Very, very wounded. What happened was. Friday of last, or Thursday of last, there's a handyman, he was here, and I had a word with him, and he said, oh, mate, Friday morning, I'll come and fix, put your gas strap on Friday morning, it'll be Friday, I said, he said, it'll be Friday, mate, he says, i got a lot of other, work to do for some other people, Friday. All day Friday I waited, didn't turn up, didn't show up, bit, bit, bit annoyed about that. Monday, I thought I might show up on Monday, didn't show up on Monday. Today, today. I'm sure myself, we just decided to take, we wanted to get out of the unit for a bit, so we decided to have a drive, we went over to drop, drive over to Bondi, to Bondi, out of Bondi Beach for a bit, 90 minutes there, very nice, it's, it's good to get out of the house, it's nice to get out of the unit, for some uh, beach air. So we get back home, it's uh, about, uh, it's approximately 4 o'clock now, it's not going to, isn't it fantastic when daylight saving ends? Look, uh, I can appreciate daylight saving to a certain extent, but I just like when darkness is like when it gets dark at 5.30. I do. I got home before, coming around the side here, from outside, and I looked up. I looked up at the gas truck. I looked up and I'm like, that's new. Oh. He came and did it. He came and did it. I was like, I wasn't here for it. So he would have buzzed on our door. He said, I'll buzz on your door. He said, I'll buzz in yours. Okay? I said, yeah, yeah. So, the thing is that if he had a buzzed on the guy next door to me who doesn't give a fuck about it, he would have said, he would have said, just here to fix gas truck, mate. And, the, and my neighbor, my, my direct neighbor would have said, oh, well, okay. Because oh. you need a new one. Because this one's broken, you need a new one. Oh, 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 oh. And this is fucking a fucking nightmare to think that he might have spoken to him because he would have went mm, 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 mm. Guess, me and you, guess, this guy knows this place well and he knew that it needed because I've talked to him about it I've talked to the handyman that was going to do it I've, I've, I've had a few conversations with the guy told him what was wrong he knows what's wrong but <laughs> my direct neighbor would have went because mm, mm, mm. he's the one used to slam the fucking thing 
Uh, now, hopefully, my in the, my neighbour adjacent to me, the one that's directly up here, hopefully he answered the door. Hopefully he answered the, the buzz. We had to go out. We just couldn't be here. And then he he does it. Well, wait, look, I wanted to be here to look at what he was doing. I just wanted to be here to chat with him about certain things about it. And uh, I just felt like I had the wind knocked out because I don't get kept in the real estate agents. They don't keep me in the loop. They they could have said uh, they they could have said could have got a message saying, listen, by the way, Pat, he'll be there on Tuesday. It's a, it's going to be midday Tuesday. So I would have been in the loop, but I wasn't kept in the loop about this. I'm um, pretty upset about it. Just that I had some very specific things to say while he was doing this. Uh, so I could keep an eye on things and just observe. And I know that the other neighbours wouldn't have given two fucks about it. That bit of the day just went, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, man, that's right. And he would have just... I'm mortified at the idea of what any of the other neighbours would have said. Because they would have said, oh, okay. Because they're the ones that stay in the fucking thing. Although it hasn't been slamming recently because it was adjusted. But this, Michelle just said, Michelle just said to me, she just said to me, it's like a Rolls Royce now, it's like a Rolls Royce gastro. Close is even better now. You can hear the pressure in the gastro. You can hear it, it's nice, smooth. Push it, and there's shh, shh. Click. To put up, actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do this, but I attempted to put a sign up on the door saying, Please let this door close by itself after flinging it open, because they all fling it. Please, and, and, and Michelle thought that was very funny, please let this door close by itself after flinging it. But I'm not going to do that, I'm not going to do that, but uh, okay, this lost the last 30 seconds of that because memory, the memory. So, um, oh. The new Gastro is like a Rolls Royce. Oh, it's beautiful, 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 beautiful. It's beautiful, new Gastro. Oh, do you have a good Gastro? Do you live in an apartment building with a foyer door? It's Gastro. And, uh, but it's fixed. It's a brand new Gastro. Really, really nice. Oh, it's, it's, it's like, pushed it. And then we just, here, here we go. Click. It's a slightly large click, more like a pop. But considering that's a very old door, and considering that, considering that the, 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 the little thing, lock thing, click thing, oh, it's, no, it's so good, it's so good. Wish I had been here to just observe everything happening. I had very specific things to say. And uh, I think it feels dirty that one of the other tenants actually let this guy, uh, let, let the handyman in. But God bloody knows what they would have said to him. That's <laughs> right, mate, I'll take care of it. Because <laughs> <Okay. laughs> they're fucking clueless. Brand new gastro. Brand new gastro. Really good. I'm still sad. I'm sad that I'm just sad I wasn't here when he put it up, when he put it in. Uh, have you ever had that? You've ever wanted to be there for a particular situation, but you missed it because you went out and you had to do something else, and then when you go back, it's done, and you're like, oh, no, I needed to be there. But the new gastro is in. It's in. It's, it's there. And it's there. It's good. Yeah.